What's up, crew? Uh, out here at the 510 booth, uh, there's a new shoe out, and Mike, who's been with 510 for what? You said over a decade, right? Yeah, about that. Yeah, he's been with 510 for over a decade. He's gonna tell us a little bit about this new shoe. What's it called? This is called the Trail Cross. This is a new shoe that we made uh, for the set that does a lot of hike biking, trail building, and driving. It's got our traditional S1 rubber, which is our original sticky rubber, rubber that got the company famous, and it's got a regular dotty pattern where your pedal contacts. Outsole thickness is about that of what a free rider is. So when you're riding the bike, this shoe feels 100% riding shoe. Then if you're out of the bike, hiking around, you got a little bit of traction here, pushing your bike uphill, scrambling, grabbing rocks, carrying them uphill. So you get a little traction. We built some braking edges in here. So if you're hiking downhill, it's a little bit more of a sure-footed shoe. Then we have a fact that the shoe goes to like a mid top with ankle protection. This is thin line D3O ankle protection on either side. This is gonna be good for riding along with working on trail. If you're kicking rocks, kicking logs, they always inevitably flip up and smash your ankle. This is gonna take the edge off that, make it a lot more of a comfortable shoe to build. That, that D3O is the stuff that's like soft until it gets impact, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a viscoelastic type material to where it's very soft, comfortable to wear, but it will solidify upon impact. So if a sharp edge rock kicks out of something, it's not gonna jam your ankle, cut you up, cool. make it uncomfortable. Uh, then uh, we do a gator now. So it's a booty, seals your sock off from the elements. No dust, no dirt, no grime gets down in there. Uh, makes your sock dirty, gives you blisters. So it's gonna be a much more comfortable shoe to spend time in, especially in a desert where it's super fine dust. Yeah. Shoe's super breathable throughout. Tongue's breathable, the vamp's breathable. This stuff dries super fast as well. It's a hydrophobic material, so it won't absorb any water. So if you get the shoe wet in a puddle, in some mud, it should dry pretty quick. There's more EVA foam than traditionally through the midsole. Since we know you're gonna be doing hike biking and whatnot in this shoe, we want it to be a lot more comfortable to spend time in. So that just gives you a little bit more absorption. So the shoe itself is kind of in a new direction for us where we're like, let's make a great riding shoe. We want to cater to that trail builder community. The guys that do hike bikes, pushing their bikes uphill. You get a rock climbing rubber. So if you're in Moab, scrambling around on slabs, the thing's literally gonna be very short footing and feel very confident. So the shoe itself is lightweight, long lasting, S1 rubber, great riding shoe. That also is gonna be excellent for just living in, spending time in, right on. everybody's barbecuing it. <laughs> do whatever you need to do in the thing. I gotta say, I picked this thing up and it's like, it's a lot lighter than it looks. So like, don't let the looks fool you. Yeah. Like it's a beefy looking shoe, but it's, it doesn't feel like it. No, nope. like yeah, hand. no, it's super light yet. It still has some toe protection um, and shoe protection in the bottom. So yeah. it's gonna be typical of our shoes. Not only do they grip pedals better, yeah. but part of what we design is we wanna protect your foot. Yeah. yeah. You know, armor your foot as much as we can without the, boot, without the shoe getting too heavy. Cool. Which is one of the big things that we've dealt with in the past. Cause we used to build a really, really killer shoe. Mm -hmm. But it was really heavy. Yeah. Some people loved it, some people just wanted a lightweight shoe. How to make a lightweight shoe that's still protective? That's a challenge. So when's the uh, when's the release on this looking like? This shoe you're gonna see in February. Okay. The 2020 product. Okay. Uh, won't be out too much before that, but right after February you should be able to see them on the website. Heck yeah. Cool man. Well, Mike, thanks a lot for telling me about the shoe. Thanks man. for your time, man. It's good stuff. Enjoy your day, guys.